Power IC. The Power IC is an important microchip found in the power section of all mobile phones. The Power Mobile Phone Power IC integrated circuit is the component electronic chip that distributes required value or measure of current voltage to all other parts of the mobile phone. Power IC identification. You will observe that the Power IC normally have so many brown capacitors, resistors, and a good number of coils etc. of varied shapes and sizes which helps in proper and accurate distribution of current needed for healthy functioning. Take a look at those images well and you will able to identify Power IC on any mobile PCB. Charging IC. This IC is found in the power section of a mobile phone. It receives electrical charges from the phone charger to charge the phone battery which is passed on to power IC after passing through the power and Zener diode, resistors and caps for further distribution to other parts in specific values. Charging IC identification. Charging IC is found in the power section of a mobile phone. It's similar to power IC in most phones it has one or two big coils around it with few brown capacitors not as much as that of power IC. The CMD form night B, BGA, QFN, QFP, or any type of SMD. Look at those images well and you will able to identify charging IC on any mobile PCB. Backlight IC. The backlight section is made of components that boost the voltage to be able to light up your LCD, displayed for easy viewing, for you to be able to see what's written on your screen. That's why you get 20 to 30 volt in the backlight section instead of 3.7 volt or 4.2 volt that supplies the phone from the battery. I use the word section because in most PCB the backlight IC will be in between this component's resistor, capacitor and boost coils. All of these components are those that adjust and send voltage to your display but in some PBC you won't see that in that form. All of the components will be integrated in one, in that case it won't be easy to identify easily. Well, I can say it's so easy to identify backlight, backlight section. Look at those images well and you will able to identify backlight IC or backlight section on any mobile PCB. RF radio frequency IC. RF signal processor or network IC as it is called can be found in the network section on the PCB. While controlled by the CPU, it works as both transmitter and receiver. For this you need experience to be able to look know if it the RFIC. So with time you will know. But always try picking up the number written on the IC and do research if you can't identify it by just looking at it. Like I said in the first place. Network IC identification. Network IC is surround with so many tiny whitish filter resistors. Resistor you can see them in package. VCO, short for voltage controlled oscillator. This is found close to the network IC of the mobile phone VCO IC network section in mobile phones. This chip acts like a voltage breaker, signal blocker, OMG whatever something like that. It prefects unwanted voltage or signal from getting to the network IC. The VCO controls and regulates the sending of time, date and current voltage to the radio frequency IC as it receives signals or command from the CPU of the mobile phone. When this component is faulty, it results in call end or call failed. 26MHZ crystal oscillator, this nothing to worry about it easy to identify. It is also mobile phone crystal oscillator known as the network crystal and is found around the PFO in the network section. You will observe that this component is mostly shiny and has metallic makeup. It is this component that creates the frequency that makes an outgoing call possible when a user is engaged on the order end. When this component is faulty, one won't be able to make a call and network also will not be available and then your phone becomes an MP3 player or iPod. OMG wow from Huawei P40 Pro to MP3 player. What the hell? This is awesome lol. Just a joke guys this coke will be real as you fail to repair it. 
Antenna switch. This component has both metallic and non-metallic makeup. It can be mobile phone antenna switch found in the network section of a mobile phone. You can identify it by its color which is either silver or golden. It usually performs the function of searching network, tuning and then sending forward. When the antenna switch is faulty, there will be network problem. Power amplifier or PFO. This component is also found in the network section of a mobile phone power amplifier, PFOIC phone. It is also referred to as the PA. Power amplifier, just like the one used in party to boost your loudspeaker. This component is responsible for filtering, amplifying and selecting the country home network of a mobile phone, e.g. Mountain, Airtel, Glow, etc. When the power amplifier is faulty, a network problem will also surface and calls will be difficult or impossible due to network problem. When this problem happens, replace the PA or get ready for the next MP3 or iPod device in your hands. 1. CPU CPU, just like the computers, phones too do have CPU known as central process unit. Phone CPU IC controls and coordinates program instructions and all other activities that goes on while the phone is being operated. CPU gets shorted or affected by falling on a hard surface, water damage or corrupted software file. CPU identification. The CPU is unique in its size in most cases as it appears to be the largest IC chip on the PCB. For example, CPU brands, Qualcomm CPU, In Samsung CPU, MediaTek MTK CPU, Hisilicon or Kirin CPU, Speedrum SPD CPU, NVIDIA Tegra CPU, used in Android TVs, 2. RAM EMMC. The random RAMIC access memory is mainly responsible for sending and receiving operating system command while the phone is being operated. It can be found in the power section. The RAM IC can be affected by a hard fall on the floor, water damage, corrupted software or when you flash it with the wrong firmware. RAM identification. RAM is bigger in size, close to the CPU size. In some mobiles it has the same size with the CPU. You will find EMMC RAM next to the CPU. Most EMMC are marked with a barcode. For example, EMMC brands. Samsung EMMC. Skynix EMMC. And many more. That's all I have for you guys today. If you have any question feel free to ask in the comment section. Please like, subscribe and click bell icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you.